the songbirds yesterday Flew me to a place not far away She's a little pilot in my mind Singing songs of love to pass the time Gonna write a song so she can see Give her all the love she gives to me Talk about her days that have yet to come Never found this love from anyone She's not anyone She's not anyone She's not anyone Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Songbird by Oasis. Beautiful song this one, and it's only got three chords. Pretty easy to play actually, really nice little strumming pattern, nice feel. Good one for all you guys to be playing along with the original recording as well. So let's start off by having a little look at the chords. So uh, the first one that you really want to get down is the big four finger G. So if you start off with a regular G chord, if you don't know how to play a G chord, go and check it out in the beginner's course on my website. Uh, start with a regular G, move third finger over onto the second string, still in the, th in the third fret there, and put little finger underneath on the thinner string. Okay, so you end up third fret, second fret, open, open, third fret, third fret. Okay, that's a G chord. Now the next chord I want to show you is the E minor 7 chord, and to get to that, all we do is move the second finger underneath the first finger. So we have open, second fret, second fret, open, third fret, third fret. So we've left the third and fourth fingers down. If any of you have learned uh, Wonderwall, it's the same uh, kind of trick of leaving those two fingers down all the time. That's your G chord. That's your E minor chord. And what there's going on here is a little linking chord, which is the G with the F sharp bass. So it's going from the G and then just lifting off the second finger and putting first finger down in the second fret of the thicker string. Okay, that's a linking chord going to the E minor. Okay, so you're, it's really worth practicing G, putting the F sharp bass on, and to the E minor, and back up again. Really good little exercise. Very, very common chord movement that. So definitely worth working on. And for this song, it's all you need. So you definitely want to make sure that you can get that little chord change sorted out before you start trying to do anything more fancy. So I recommend starting off with the usual four down strums to the bar, just to keep it really simple while you get used to the form and get used to the chords. So we're starting off on a G chord. The intro is just two bars, and then we're in, so G. Talking to the G bird, yes, the G. Flew me to a G not with the F sharp bass to E minor. She's a little E minor in my E minor again. Singing songs of E minor to the F sharp bass back to G. Gonna write a G so she can G. Give her all the G she with an F sharp bass to E minor. Talk of better E minor that have yet to E minor. Never felt this E minor from an F sharp bass to G. Stay on the G. She's not any G. She's not any. There was a little F sharp bass moving in there and I was a little bit late on it. I hope you'll forgive me. We're staying on the E minor now for a few bars. And then we got the F sharp link back up to the G. And then we're back into the rest of the song. So. I was losing my place because I wasn't singing, but the, normally the place where the little F sharp uh, linking chord comes is, is fairly obvious, especially if I play it through uh, now with a, a bit more of the proper singing thing. But before I do that, I want to explain the rhythm to you because the rhythm is really, really cool. And uh, again, learning a rhythm, easiest thing to do, mute up all the strings. And then we're doing this bass, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up, one, two, Three and four and one, two, three and four and big deal here, keeping the hand moving, right? You don't want it to stop for any reason, right? What we're doing in the first drum is just hitting the bass strings. Okay, so it's a just a regular down strum, but just focus on hitting the thicker strings of the chord. Okay, it doesn't have to, it's not one note, it's just the bass strings, okay? One, then on beat two, a normal full down strum, strumming all the strings. Then on beat three, our hand is going to move down, but we're not going to play. And then we're going to play up, down, up. So bass, chord, miss, up, down, up, bass, chord, miss, up, down, up. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, 
three and four and one two three and four and one two three and four and one two three and four and really worth spending a bit of time on that and again playing along with the original recording while holding the mute down is a really good idea because it'll help you get into the groove of the song without having to worry about the chord changes although in this song the chord change is relatively simple uh, which is why it's such a nice uh, kind of a beginner's tune um, next step would be applying that rhythm though to it just the g chord so hold your g chord don't worry about any chord changes and try and get the bass chord bass up down up bass down up down up And of course you need to work that up to the kind of the tempo of the song. Okay, so really working on that. Again, hand keeps moving all the time. It's a really big deal, okay? So now let's go for it. So G into the verse. Talking to the G card yesterday. Not linking to E minor She's a little pilot in my mind Singing songs of love to link to G Gonna write a song so she can see Give her all the love she links to E minor Talk about the days that have yet to come Never felt this link coming up There it is to G She's not anyone back around. It's not a difficult tune this one, it's such a nice one to play along as well. Of course listening is also really important so just listening to the original version a few times. Uh, one thing that I recommend for students to do if they're struggling to do the play along thing is to play along but without strumming the strings and do the chord changes as well. So play along with the original recording. yesterday flew me to the place not far away of course the original track will be going but that kind of thing just moving the hand moving the strumming trying to get the chord changes it stops things kind of tripping you over because sometimes if, if the chord doesn't feel right or one of the strums was a bit heavy or your pick got tangled up in the strings kind of makes you lose the whole feeling and and the feeling and, and the, the relaxed nature of a tune like this is really where it's at and you'll cop that best by playing along with the original recording so really recommend that you do that as often as you can it'll really help you absorb the good time feel that this song has and help you enjoy it and make a good performance of it on your own so uh have fun with this one and i'll see you for plenty more lessons and stuff very soon if you dig what i do please subscribe to my channel and hook up for the mailing list on the website see you soon bye bye